We're going to talk about immigration now, gentlemen, and we're going to talk about families within this context. Mr. President, your administration separated children from their parents at the border, at least 4,000 kids. You've since reversed your zero tolerance policy, but the United States can't locate the parents of more than 500 children. So how will these families ever be reunited? Uh, children are brought here by coyotes and lots of bad people, cartels, and they're brought here, and they used to use them to get into our country. We now have as strong a border as we've ever had. We're over 400 miles of brand new wall. You see the numbers, and we let people in, but they have to come in legally, and they come in through. But America. how will you reunite these kids you, with their families? Let me just tell you, Mr. President. they built cages. You know, they used to say, "I built the cages," and then they had a picture in a certain newspaper. And it was a picture of these horrible cages. And they said, look at these cages. President Trump built them. And then it was determined they were built in 2014. That was him. Do you they have a plan cages. to reunite the kids? Yes, we're working family? on it very, we're, we're trying very hard. But a lot of these kids come out without the parents. They come over through cartels and through coyotes and through gangs. Vice President Biden, let me bring you into this conversation. Quick response and then another question to you. These 500 plus kids came with parents. They separated them at the border to make it a disincentive to come to begin with. They real tough. We're really strong. And guess what? They cannot. It's not coyotes didn't bring them over. Their parents were with them. They got separated from their parents. And it makes us a laughing stock and violates every notion of who we are as a nation. Let me ask you a follow-up question. They did it. We changed the policy. Your response they to that? It. We, we changed. did not. They separate built the cages. The they, who, who built the cages, let's, Joe? Let's talk about what who we're talking about. Who built the cages, Let's Joe. talk about what we're talking about. What happened? Parents were ripped, their kids were ripped from their arms and separated. And now they cannot find over 500 of the sets of those parents, and those kids are alone. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. It's criminal. It's criminal. Let me ask Kristen, you about it. Kristen, I will say this. They went down. We brought reporters, everything. They are so well taken care of. They're in facilities that were so clean. But some of them haven't been reunited good. with But just families. ask one question. Who built the cages? I'd love you to ask him that. Who built the cages? Let me ask about your immigration policy, Mr. Vice President. The Obama administration did fail to deliver immigration reform, which had been a key promise during the administration. It also presided over record deportations as well as family detentions at the border before changing course. So why should voters trust you with an immigration overhaul now? Because we made a mistake. It, made too, it took too long to get it right. It took too long to get it right. I'll be president of the United States, not vice president of the United States. And the fact is, I've made it very clear. Within 100 days, I'm going to send to the United States Congress a pathway to citizenship for over 11 million undocumented people. And all of those so-called dreamers, those DACA kids, they're going to be immediately certified again to be able to stay in this country and put on a path to citizenship. The idea that they are being sent home by this guy and they want to do that is they've gone to a country they've never seen before. I can imagine you're five years old, your parents are taking you across the, the Rio Grande River and it's, and, it's, and it's illegal. And you say, oh, no, mom, leave me here. I'm not going to go with you. They've been here. Many of them are model citizens. Over 20,000 of them are first responders out there taking care of people during this crisis. We owe them. We owe them. President Kristen, he had reaction. eight years to do what he said he was going to do. And I've changed without having a specific. We got rid of catch and release. We got rid of a lot of horrible things that they put in and that they lived with. But he had eight years he was vice president. He did nothing except build cages to keep children in. Vice President Wrong. Biden, your response. The catch and release. You know what he's talking about there? If, in fact, you had a family came across and they were arrested. They, in fact, were given a date to show up for their hearing. They were released. And guess what? They showed up for a hearing. And this is the first president in the history of the United States of America that's anybody seeking asylum has to do it in another country. That's never happened before in America. That's never happened before in America. You come to the United States and you make your case that I seek asylum based on the following, on the following premise, why I deserve it under American law. They're sitting in squalor on the other side of the river. President Trump, your response, uh, so 30 important. seconds, and then we'll move It on. just shows that he has no understanding of immigration or the laws. Catch and release is a disaster. 
A murderer would come in, a rapist would come in, a very bad person would come in. We would take their name. We have to release them into our country. And then you say they come back. Less than 1 percent of the people come back. We have to send ICE out and Border Patrol out to find them. We would say, come back in two years, three years. We're going to give you a court case. You need Perry Mason. We're going to give you a court case. When you say they come back, they don't come back, Joe. They, they never come back. Only the really — I hate to say this, but those with the lowest IQ, they might come back. Okay, but President Trump, very, let's very give few. Vice President Biden a chance to respond, and then we're going to move on to the you next section. You don't know section. the law, Joe. Vice President Biden, law. your response. Know the law. What he's telling you is simply not true. Well, check, check it, it out. out. They don't come back. Check it out. All right, let's move but on. But we don't have to, to worry about section. it because they terminated it. So we don't have to worry about 